So my friend Andre bought himself a uh, Porsche Taycan, which is uh, also a rear wheel drive with the performance magic plus. Yeah, yeah, it's also. And uh, today uh, he is going to take me on a ride and see how the car uh, looks. Of course, it's almost the same. With yeah, yeah, yeah. the main uh, uh, attraction that in his interior is white, and when I saw the car for the first time, I I was actually blown away by how good it looks. So yeah, let's go for a ride and uh, see what's what. We are both Romanians, but because this channel is based mostly on the Taycan and the audience, of course, being uh, English speaking, most of them, we are going to make this video in English. So forget, especially my pronunciation, because he is actually very good on uh, nah, English you're good, you're pronunciation. Well, yeah. But yeah, I hope you can uh, bear with us and uh, I'm really curious to see what he has to say about the new Taycan which just got released with the 700 kilometers range of course be this being the uh, performance battery plus it has a bit more range but not quite 700 kilometers so how long do you own this booty? I think uh, almost two months. No, I think. And how many kilometers? Uh, <laughs> listen, okay, I've been uh, I've been driving a lot. It's nine thousand. Nine thousand kilometers, yeah. just in Romania. So it's a clear sign that uh, it's almost uh, addictive. Yes, it really is. Especially at the beginning. Oh, damn. Uh, it's also a very good travel car. You know, although people uh, always. Uh, they're, they're like, ah, it's an electric car, it takes long to, you know, to charge up and all that stuff. And it's really not that, not, not that bad. Especially like uh, with the Taycan, 10-15 minutes and you're, you're done, you're done charging almost. Exactly. Yeah. It's just too good to be true. Yeah. And the new range on the newer Taycan, of course, it's amazing. And uh, just to uh, explain that 750 kilometers, these, those are not real kilometers. Those kilometers were done in uh, about 80 kilometers an hour flat, and it's yeah. basically slower than uh, a uh, truck. In uh, most situations, you will be driving in normal mode, or uh, as Andre has here in individual. What is different? Well, individual, you can choose like. Uh, what yeah, but you... what did you choose? Oh, I chose like uh, the electric sound and. Basically everything that's in normal, other than that. Do you know that you can uh, uh, set the electric sound on this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's the same button as this one, no? Yes, yes. Yeah, but I, I have it as next uh, next song coming up. This is the next song? Yeah, that's the next song. And how do you engage the recuperation? Uh, it's this one. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I genuinely forgot, like, <laughs> I drive my car every yeah, day, but I... Yeah, I was gonna I, say, I, like, <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. I literally forgot that it's a button from for just the region. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, my configuration is uh, electric sport sound on the instrument cluster and I think that diamond button on the steering wheel might be the next song. I'm not really sure. Let's take a look at the white interior. It actually looks quite amazing. Does it look better, better than my red interior? Questionable. Questionable. <laughs> it depends on what you want in the car, I think. Red is more... Uh, I think it's a safer option. It actually... I don't know if it's true what I'm about to say, but... Does it get dirty really fast? I've actually had another car that had the same uh, same color interior almost. The Macan. Yeah, the Macan. Uh, it is a bit brighter in the Macan. This is actually called crayon or something like that, um, and it is not that bad because I don't know. Each three to four months, I would take it to professional cleaning, and gotcha. they do a great job. And it's just yeah, it's just like new every time. What about the entrance in the car? Is it difficult for you? 
be interested in the car. For me, it's not, but uh, I, I did have some. Uh, you know, a learning curve. What? Sorry? A, a learning curve. Yeah, just learning to curve. Get yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside exactly. the car. Yeah. And also, some other people that are older, they, they do say that, you know, they would prefer an SUV um, to, to the Taycan, yeah, because it's more difficult to get in and out. My car having the uh, anti glare screen uh, film on uh, on the screens i think it's i don't really have the words today but i kind of like the glossy look <laughs> i'm telling you i the glossy look is usually better is it the way to go usually it is i'm not going to touch it because i know <laughs> it will uh, cover itself in fingerprints that is true that is the bad part yeah yeah it's very strange for me being in a car that is so familiar with and being in the passenger seat yeah it's definitely a uh, different uh, feeling my uh, i painted my mirror oh, yeah, yeah, black yeah. and yeah. it feels uh, quite strange to me at least i think i do think it looks better though what you did is actually very nice is it better in black or white uh, what do you mean? Uh, the surrounding... Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it looks way better. It, yeah, it integrates more with the, with the rest of the car. Mm -hmm. color. But white isn't that. Uh, why, uh, your white is Carrera white or basic white? No, it's basic white. They, basic. they don't make Carrera white anymore. I actually wanted Carrera white. But, you uh, had a big issue with yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. the Carrera white. Yes. And how did you manage to solve it with the dealership? Well, I mean, they just, uh, they offered me a discount, you know, because when we talked, uh, I did choose Carrera White and they said it's fine. And then they called me and said it's not available anymore. Uh, but I did really want White, so I chose White anyways. And they just offered, my, uh, offered me a discount instead. On a uh, used market, I think they do quite a good job on discounts, but on the new market it's quite different. I don't know why. So I just found out that he has no idea that <laughs> on uh, the upper screen from the center console there is actually a shortcut button. Let's see if we can actuate it because I have no idea how to do it actually. I always have mine open so for me it's quite a strange feeling not knowing how the hell it looks. <laughs> Tips and tricks with, me, with Mr. Cox. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, it's, why it doesn't work though. Very strange. Let me Google that. We grabbed our coffee and let's see where will you take me. We have to take care of the uh, shortcuts. Oh, yeah. Let me google it really fast. With the channel I uh, found out that it, it's not just about the car, it's also about the people. Andre, uh, we've met. Yeah, that's how I met you, yeah while uh, I was uh, filming the car and uh, and we also live in the same neighborhood somehow that's also kind of and crazy and we had no idea <laughs> about no idea, each other yeah, of course he yeah. texted me on uh, Instagram and uh, told me where he lived and I told him yeah I live in the same uh, yeah. two, two blocks away <laughs> okay indeed indeed <laughs> yeah that is quite strange yeah. but did you show the car first or did you message me on Instagram? No, I, uh, yeah, I googled uh, stuff about Taycan, of course, you know, after I, uh, I was thinking about ordering it, you know, and then I messaged you, yeah, asking you some... Uh, but you haven't seen the car in our neighborhood, in our no, residential No, 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 I did not area. see it, I did not. 
because it would be interesting to see the car on uh, videos on YouTube and then uh, pa the car, the same car yeah, imagine passing. Me, imagine. Yeah, imagine me. Yeah, is it? Uh, am I drunk or? Yeah. The panoramic roof really changes the car. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, I shared <laughs> on this channel uh, about two or three months ago, I uh, painted a front bumper on a uh, Taycan 4S in gentian blue mm -hmm. and that car did not have the panoramic uh, uh, sunroof and it was really claustrophobic inside yeah it's a lot, lot of light coming in what, what do you think about the um, you know the not the tinted the, 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 the option that allows you to sure. no no it, it like uh, stops the light from coming in I don't know what, ah, uh, what, uh, what the, the anti-reflective uh, thing uh, yeah yeah you can it's a nice gimmick. It's a gimmick, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if it would make such a difference. It it, it looks actually incredible to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, especially the shapes that the yeah. um, application is doing. But I don't see a use for it. A yeah. use for it. Yeah. yeah. I've never I've never been like oh damn the sun is like crazy right now. No. Know? I've never no, been. Even like, in the yeah. hot uh, yeah. days, I wouldn't feel the mm -hmm. sun burning my head or something. Yeah. It's just really. Incredibly good insulated glass. Yeah. yeah, and the option is very expensive as well. I don't know if it's worth. I don't know. It's like five thousand. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Definitely not worth it. I don't but think so. I think every <coughs> option that you uh, choose, and it's more expensive or something, or it's from the Porsche exclusive uh, program, mm -hmm. it could save the res resale value, but by a little margin, but. Wait yeah. six more months for just yeah, one or two. It's just not worth it. Better to enjoy the car. And as I've said a million times before, it's not about the options. It's about the car. Yeah. Even sure. if you would choose a Taycan and not a single option, it, it would still be a Taycan. Yeah, it would feel the same, yeah. In, yes, you don't have uh, a stitching on the dashboard or. Uh, Maybe this screen wouldn't be here, but it could still be in more or less the same car. Yeah, I agree. It's a great car regardless, yeah. And people purchasing cars for the sake of uh, adding options uh, without needing them, that's a very dangerous uh, thing to do because what if you wouldn't in enjoy the car? You've yeah. paid a stupid amount of cash for it and it will be in somewhat difficult to sell it, even if it's a new car. I think you just go for it and... Yeah, hope for the best. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to enter here and I'm going to the We sold it. I don't know how, but somewhat, somehow these uh, three lines appeared on the screen and I just dragged them. We solved today's problem. What do you think of it? It, it does wonders. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 9,000 kilometers and two months of ownership and he had no I idea know, that yeah. uh, he can do the uh, shortcuts that you find uh, mostly here on the uh, central display. That's why you need to read the owner's manual, I guess. Or watch Co Mr. Cox videos. <laughs> <laughs> Both work. Yeah, that's a good resolution for the video. Yes. Now Andre is going to uh, get the charger in. And it's really interesting to see how he is doing it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Just plug in and yeah. Let's see how the uh, charger actually works. Uh, was this reliable? Uh, what, well, the, the, the flap going up? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. We had an issue with it. He installed himself a plug on the, near his uh, parking spot. It's good to have, it's not very fast, but... Uh, I find the Porsche charging being extremely unreliable yeah this never worked for me really why it just would I, I would start the charging like like you are doing yeah. right now but for some reason I will I would uh, get the 100% uh, 
uh, marker here and it with brick. Okay, yeah, I've never it had never that. worked. Okay, maybe it was faulty charger, no? Hmm? Maybe it was faulty. Maybe. So insanely fast charging. Yeah. And fry your batteries. That's yes. Good. It's like <laughs> it's like eating with a toothpick. Exactly. <laughs> eating soup with a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs>